Hey there, this is Amy with Years of Experience. I just wanted to touch base and give you a few tips on how to stay healthy on a cruise. There's a lot of talk in the news right now, and um, if you don't know me, I was in the cruise industry for many, many years before starting Years of Experience, and the same tips are tried and true from when I was in that industry. So first and foremost, wash your hands. I know that sounds obvious, but washing your hands with soap and water, experts say, is even more effective than gel. But when you're out and about, gelling, if you you know don't have access to a sink, is awesome. So just making sure anytime you touch anything that anybody else touches. So whether that be handrails, buffet line, anything like that, they're really good these days about making sure to minimize what you're touching that somebody else, another guest has, <clears throat> has touched. But just being very mindful of that. I always gel before going through a buffet and gel after going through a buffet. Um, the other tip is don't use public bathrooms. So you gotta go to the bathroom, go back to your stateroom. Um, obviously a lot of germs are spread in, buff in public bathrooms, so just stay away from them, especially if somebody's sick um, and they go in there. So always use the, the bathroom in your stateroom if at all possible. Um, if you wanna be super germophobic, like some of us are, um, bring some Lysol wipes, antibacterial wipes. Wipe everything down um, when you first come into the stateroom and then periodically throughout the cruise as well. Um, you hope they don't cross use <clears throat> cleaning supplies from your stateroom to another, but they may. So, you know, just wipe it down. Be safe, wipe it down. It takes freaking 10 seconds. So um, do not use public bathrooms, um, gel in your hands. And the other thing that people don't realize is, you know, the refillable cups. So say you go and you grab a cup to go get like iced tea or soft, um, soft drinks, things like that that where you have the, um, if it doesn't have the push and it's a, you know, if you don't push the button and it dispenses, but you push in and it, it touches a part of that machine, don't use that cup. So fill your cup up and then pour it into another one because then you, the, the rim that your mouth is going to touch has not touched a machine where somebody might've drank and then came back and refilled. Um, I know these seem really obvious, but people just don't think when they're on trips so that this is just something to help you guys with. Um, silverware, typically they wrap silverware. Make sure that the silverware you're using is wrapped. You're not like pulling it out of a container with a bunch of silverware that somebody could have touched as they grabbed theirs. Um, those are the, the big things. Um, I'm a big proponent of hot lemon water. So, you know, keeping your immune system up drinking this a few weeks before you travel always and then continue through your vacation drinking this keep your immune system up drinking plenty of water um, when you're out at the ports drinking bottled water um, but when you're on the ship anyway just drinking water keep yourself hydrated flushing anything out and then just you know have fun indulge but be mindful that when you eat stuff that your body isn't used to, you could also break your immune system down. So just a few things to keep you healthy. Um, cruising is a great option for people. Um, don't let the hype keep you from cruising. Um, people are getting sick all over the place. It's just we don't know because somebody's sick at the grocery store and uses the cart before you. You don't know where that came from. It's just on a cruise, people are more confined. So use common sense. But go, travel, explore, have fun with your friends and family, and just hopefully some of these tips will help you with that. Take care and bon voyage.